Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, we must survive the zombie apocalypse. So they say this map is called a totally normal day at the farm, but it sure doesn't look like it. Looks like we have some creepy, they almost look like scarecrows, don't they? Kind of like the scarecrow mask with the little stitched eyes. Now, real quick, if you want to know where the secret level is, it's in a snow globe right up here on Farmer 1. So we got these soldiers, but you know what? Something's up with them, man. They got these World War II helmets. They've got this modern looking body armor and none of them are wearing shoes. But despite all that, they are armed with some pretty potent firepower. Hold on, they're aiming over here, are we? Oh, look at that. There's a few little scarecrow zombies over there trying to flank us. And then the rest are coming out of the woodwork over here in the cornfields. But I think our guys here are gonna be able to defend this. And in fact, you know what? Gentlemen, I shall lead from the front. Here are the zombies, we must kill them all. <laughs> I tell you what, the addition of uh, adding third person control and even just makes tabs so much more fun. Hold on. Yes, I, I hit him right in the midsection. Look at that. So yeah, essentially, if we lose one battle, the zombies will take over the world. We cannot let that happen. It is up to us to stop the zombie apocalypse in here. Oh, are there gonna be some hiding in the forest? I feel like there might be. Normally this is where like the zombies start to learn and adapt a little bit and trap. You, do you guys remember? Look at this. It, like, can anyone explain what this door does? Remember when it was the greatest mystery in tabs was what is behind that door? Did someone give these elves Uzi submachine guns? <laughs> oh my God. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. We're gonna use some uh, Uzi toting elves here. And it looks like they have some kind of a special ability that's maybe sapping the life out of the zombies. Uh, now the zombies also have uh, some abilities themselves. It looks like, oh God, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take one of these guys and run. Oh God, where'd you come from? Oh my God, reload. Oh, help me, the zombies. <laughs> all right, and all we have to do is uh, hit the rewind here. So we're gonna need some troopers. We're gonna put some soldiers in here too to help protect the elves because it seems like they do a little bit more damage so in honor of you know christmas and the holidays we'll have the elves out here i just love that can, can you imagine if you're like waiting up for santa to come down the chimney at night and you you've got your cookies and you've got your uh brats and spicy mustard because everybody knows that's what santa wants and then all of a sudden a bunch of like commando looking elves come down with uzis you'd probably be a little bit confused I mean, I sure would be. And look at this. Now they're all holding it like behind their backs. This guy's actually holding his backwards. That is not how you Uzi, my friend. <laughs> that is not how you Uzi at all. So we're moving on to the next one. Oh, these ones have, uh-oh. The zombies are evolving and you know that they're gonna be better in combat because now they have beards. Not the meat cleavers. It's the beards in particular that you have to watch out for. Let's see. What about a pyro unit? Ants, boys? What is an ant boy? What is an ant boy? I don't even know what is happening right now. They're called ant boys. Are they just microscopically sm small? Oh, there, there, there's one now. He's got a tail. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I just see little fires everywhere. And I think what we need to do is get one pyro each, some soldiers to protect him. And then we should have enough for a bunch of elves. All right, so the elves are the distraction, but the real firepower here is going to be this, which definitely looks like a minigun, but he's wearing a gas mask. So this guy's gonna be what? Spewing fire. I guess we did just see it, so. But I, I didn't see it close up and I didn't see it in slow motion. All right, you may fire <clears throat> when ready. Wait, are they are they sneaking up? Where are you shooting back here? Who, there isn't anybody back there. Totally accurate aiming. Oh! Oh my god, the fire effects are gorgeous. We broke the sound effects in the game. Oh, never mind. I take it back. The uh, the Uzis, I, I'm not sure if they're working right now. Oh, oh man, there's definitely some friendly fire incidents with fire. But you know what? We have survived mainly due to these guys, which I think these are my new favorite units because of how cute they are mixed with how dangerous they are. Okay, don't let them touch you. Now, what is this? Is this some kind of a dark sorcerer? So you notice, I don't know if this guy's a zombie so much as maybe a vampire or a necromancer because the zombies don't have real eyes. Okay, yeah, and these guys, see, they don't have real eyes either, right? So this, this could be like some kind of a dark lord situation. Where did they learn that powers? Well, not from a Jedi as the meme goes. There's all kinds of units in here. Ranger gladiators. Ah, so this is an infected zombie. And this guy's name is Tesla. <laughs> 
Okay, hold on. This is Tesla. He looks like he has a 50 caliber sniper rifle. And he's got one of those, like, Japanese organizational uh, military flags on his back. And he's got a space helmet. He's a very eclectic individual. So we'll keep Tesla out there. I don't think he's firing electricity at all. Oh, and then here's a commander elf. Oh, yeah, I want some commander elves. We'll get two commander elves. We'll get two pyros up close. We'll have some elves as distraction, but the main force of elves is going to be with their commanders. And then I'm thinking we're going to want some soldiers. Now, they said don't let them touch you, but maybe Santa Claus. His name is Santa Claus, and he looks like Wolverine. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh, my gosh. I tried to pause time, but, like, the frame rates, so much happened between that. Look at this. You cannot repel firepower of this magnitude. Now Santa Claus is rushing in there? There's just... I don't think they're gonna have too good of a time because look at this absolute chaos. The fire's just flaming up in the air now. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. The bullets hit that box and pushed it further down. Now something's gotta pop out of it. Hold on, they keep pushing it down. Something has to pop out. Oh, it popped out a, a balloon archer. <laughs> you landed in the wrong area and look at this. Now I'm not sure if that's their attack animation or if they were shot up in the air, but they did go against the grain. So needless to say, the Christmas faction, well, you know, we can't let this, <laughs> look at this. Do you want my mustache, governor? I do indeed. I think we're in good hands. I mean, these guys are carrying pocket cannons and Thompson submachine guns. This elf army is no joke. Oh no. Okay, we've got these. This one is a brute zombie. Elf on a claws? <laughs> Oh my god, this is so silly. I love it. All right, and we send one out as a scout. We always send one out as a scout here on the front lines. Now, as long as... Oh my gosh. Oh, I was going to say, they did really well to not shoot him in the back. And then right as I was about to say it, our poor elf brother, he he died. Uh, or no, he's getting back up. Dude, you know they're going to fire another salvo and probably hit you in the back, right? Or alternatively, you're going to get bum rushed by a zombie. And Santa Claus with the elf on the shelf, the elf on his back... <laughs> <laughs> is still doing okay. This time we didn't use any elf commanders, but I feel like we should simply because the elf commanders are able to fire the little uh, secret present box. So Christmas versus the zombie apocalypse here in tabs in Totally Agate Battle Simulator. Look at this guy. So what? Are you, what's your goal? Oh, okay. You fire. Oh, that just... <gasps> this guy properly used cover and now he's dead. Okay. Who's left alive? Okay. The brute is now... The brute's probably pretty good. Whoa, why, why are my frames dropping? It's not like anything crazy just happened there, right? That was super yeah. weird. And goodbye, Mr. Zombie Brute. <laughs> All right, guys, I, I think we won. Oh, no, this is bad. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this. I need the zombie brute to fall off. And all of the elf infantry are here. Oh, ooh, he's getting some hits in. Maybe what we could do... Oh, I was going to try to take command of one and drop him off the cliff so maybe the brute would attack him. But we got victory. I don't know how he died because it's not like there's no water down here that normally kills these units. Maybe it's some, like, noxious fog. Oh, gosh. So we are surrounded now. Are there any new units? Any specialties? No, that's the bearded meat cleaver guy. We've got the brutes. We've got the ones that can throw their magical skulls. I think we're fine. Okay. Well, we're going to need Santa Claus. Now I'm going to have Santa Claus. Let's see. He's 1400 bucks. We have 40,000 bucks. I'm going to get four Santa Clauses. And you're like, man, there, there should only be one. And you're probably right. But right now we cloned him to help defend ourselves. Put soldiers on the inside of this ring. And you know what? Some pyros just for the pyrotechnic abilities. Guardzilla. How big is this guy? He's 23,000. Wait a minute. How? Oh, it's Guardzilla. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we need our elf army, not the ones with the elf on the back. And we'll have one soldier. Okay, so look at that defensive fire, man. It's just gorgeous. And you see zombies just getting launched off the map. That with the Santa Claus is rushing in. But Guardzilla, I don't know what... Look, look at this. Have you see, that's the interesting thing. Hey, Baron, what would happen if the zombie apocalypse happened during Christmas and there was Godzilla there to help the humans fight off the zombies. Well, I'm glad you asked. And that's one of the things that Totally Aggro Battle Simulator really just shines at. Is that pure sandbox. Oh, that must have been Santa Claus's ability to create that. Ooh, Santa Claus, aka Wolverine, is not doing too hot. Wait a minute, there's something. I don't think Godzilla is doing too well. I think he's getting lit up or eaten. He's got a ton of magical abilities. I think he's dead. I can't tell. He's fallen. Oh, never mind. Wow. 
Okay, he's definitely not dead. But can he survive? There's a few elves alive. <gasps> Wait a minute, these aren't elves. What? Are these converted? These are converted elves. We have a necromancer out there, which I guess makes sense because normally, you know, when you get bit by a zombie or when someone dies to a zombie, they turn into one. But like, we haven't seen that in quite a while. But that's probably one of the coolest mods I've ever seen in tabs was the actual zombification. Now it says defeat, but we have a DeLorean. It goes 88 miles an hour. We're able to travel through time. It's not a big deal. We need more Santa Clauses. We want some pyros on the front lines because seems like a good idea. Oh, and what we need this time is our elf commander because they throw in the presents. And you know what? That's, that's what Christmas is all about. Giving out those presents. All right. Now the presents might take some bullet shots and skip a little bit farther. Here's one now. And open up. Open sesame. What do you got in there? Look at this though. Like the amount of fire that the humans and the elf alliance is able. <laughs> a dragon came out of one. What's coming out of this one? I think. Hey, it's uh, just a modern soldier without a weapon. Okay. You you know what? We can take all the help we can get. There is, there's one of the new uh, secret units, which is the spooky witch who has like the cool little mushroom effect. Now, I can't even make out what's going. I'm just assuming we're winning. I think the elf commanders are maybe a little bit OP. There's a Hawacha down there and a mammoth. I mean, th this is absolutely nuts. However many zombies are still left alive, they're not, and then there's a tree giant? You have to be kidding me. Okay. I think we should limit ourselves to one elf commander from now on. Because other than that, it just seems a little bit unfair, don't you think? How is the battle still happening? They're shooting at this zombie brute over here. They do have a lot of health. Oh, oh, he fell and almost made it back on the map. But ultimately, you know, the giants, the cavalry, the king, the mushroom witch, all of this <laughs> joined together. Okay, now the decayed throne. Okay, so we're going to fight the zombie king. Now I'm thinking we go a little bit, a little bit crazy here. We've got an Egyptian pharaoh and we've got these ranger gladiators. What if the zombie apocalypse happened during Christmas, but also in the ancient past? Let's find out. And we do want some Egyptian warriors. We'll set in the melee troops. Oh, we, we, we have a unit cap. All right, so these guys are each carrying two Chuko Noose, and they've got some really cool looking armor. Oh man, the Egyptian warriors are, are like berserkers. And the Pharaoh is, is doing a little bow down to me while he's gotten some throwing swords. Oh my God, there's so many Chuko Noose crossbow bolts everywhere, but they're absolutely destroying the zombies. So let's see if we can't see the zombie king yet. Who's that falling over? Oh no. One of the Egyptian soldiers may have fallen to his death, but he took two zombies with him. Here's the zombie. King. You can barely make him out, but he, he does wear the crown and he just fell into the water. <laughs> and now he's dying in the, the, the noxious potions. I think that should kill him, right? He, he's, oh, I guess what is dead may never die. No, what is dead may actually die again. So who's left alive? Nobody. <laughs> oh my gosh. The siege on the zombie Lord's castle. So this is the final one, huh? Dude. The zombie lord kind of reminds me of the summoner. And the summoner has to be one of the coolest units I think ever. He's got two zombie kings. So this is like the entire zombie alliance here. Okay. Oh, man. And we're going to have... Okay. What do we do to beat that? Well, I do want some Egyptian warriors to jump at them. We'll have some gladiators behind them. Gladiator <laughs> mounter? <laughs> That's so funny looking. Oh, we got an Egyptian priest and Egyptian shielders. We're going to use the Egyptian army. Oh, and we definitely want to have Anubis out here. And I think it's only fair that we bring in guys that helped us do it. The Elven army with one commander elf. I don't think we need any more units, honestly. So bring in a giant wobbler. <laughs> and good old Santa Claus. I mean, when you see this army, do you really think I could be defeated? I don't think so. So we must save Christmas and defeat the zombie pandemic. It must be destroyed. Uh-oh. I hate when the soldiers, like, leap into the walls because there's a chance that they'll bounce and fall off just like that guy did right there. Oh, man. Especially with some explosions going off. Well, we just cleared out all of their range units that were up on the battlement. So now it's just it, it, what went from a very defensible fortification. It's now just a choke point to lure out enemy uh, zombie melee units into an absolute crossfire. Now, We'll probably have some units that will fall off the cliff. Yeah, it is inevitable that they will. And I'm not sure if it's the uh, Egyptian priests that are able to fire. Oh, here he is. All right, so this is the zombie lord. Now, is he going to have some crazy special abilities? Okay, he can he can block or dodge a lot of incoming range fire. Apparently not the lightning bolts, though. Thor, 
God of Thunder is apparently helping us out. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we got this. The one faction we were able to use for this campaign is proving to be incredibly powerful. Although we're having a lot of friendly fire now, so that's not good. I'm gonna take command of this guy and try to sit back here and get some shots. Uh-oh, the zombies are rushing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is- he's still alive! Uh-oh, this is bad, this is bad. Oh! He just smited me! Okay, that did not work. All right, the melee doesn't work, and I think we need to replace our gladiators. We'll also replace the uh, Greek gods, I mean the Egyptian gods. I think we're gonna have to rely on a few more commander elves to throw some boxes. Give them Christmas. All right, so the boxes will produce the frontline troops, hopefully. Hopefully they all stay up there and none of them fall off. Let's see. Oh, we, we got a cactus guy, but he spawned a little bit off the ramp there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I can't even really make out what's happening anymore. Oh, we got a minotaur up there. If he can survive long enough, something just exploded. But we got, we got a mammoth inside the walls. <gasps> we spawned in a dark peasant? GG, boys. Game's over. I, I can't see them beating him. Look at this. And there's a cheerleader there? Oh my god, the commander elves are just absolutely filthy. Yeah, so, uh, it's a little bit of a luck of the die. It's some RNG here, but it was on our side, and we spawned in a dark peasant. So, I'm pretty safe to say that we're gonna win this one. We will defeat the zombie horde. Wait, what is yelling outside of this door? Is there something back here? My frames are, are dropping to less than five, it feels like. If we watch from outside of the window here... Oh, look at You can just see the bullets. <laughs> it's like in the movie when, like, John Wick goes into a room and you're like, what's gonna happen? And you just see, like, little faint things and people flying, bullets shooting everywhere. <laughs> That's kind of how it feels. Oh, we got one of the other new units. The Necromancer. Yeah. I mean, Dark Peasant, Necromancer. We got Santa Claus, Commander Elves in here. I don't care how many zombie kings they have. Did we just summon in a pharaoh? Yes, we did. Of course we did. So now we have to make our way up this ramp. And the Dark Peasant looks like he's probably gonna just toss these guys right off the map. And there, my friends, is a victory. We've survived and we've beaten back the zombie apocalypse here in Tab. So thank you for watching. Pull the trigger and like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.